my Gemini. <laughs> my Yanny Yang Gemini. Yeah. What's up, twins? What's popping? Hey, boo, hey. Hey, boo, hey. <laughs> this first time to my channel. Hi, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel. Look out, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, feel free right down now to go find another reader that can further assist you without cussing because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Welcome to the family, y'all. If you're a new subscriber, we're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight a us. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But here, we do laugh. We cry. We grow. We fuss. We cuss. We do some interesting things over here. That said, you guys, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Gemini, which are crazy asses, okay? To the returning family, did you miss me? Are y'all stealing y'all damn head about making a decision that you know you gotta make? Hmm. Hmm. I should have bought the reading to the belt. I couldn't do the feature on the belt today, so y'all bear with me. I'm going to mince some note. <laughs> Palm pilot that, okay? I'm going to bring the belt to the next reading if shit looks like this, okay? Note to self. So see, I write it down. Take a picture. I don't give a fuck. But somebody, give me the memo. Somebody, if it's a cross watch up here, who, who, who can remind me to get the belt, please? Thank you. <laughs> you guys, thank you for the likes, the shares. The love, the comments, um, just all of your support, you guys. The readings, the donations, etc. Thank you. I truly appreciate it from the humblest space ever. All right? If you need a personal reading, y'all, the kid in me can't stop spinning in this damn chair. If you need a personal reading, <laughs> that information can be found in the description below. But let's go ahead and jump right in, okay? So this will be for the mid-month of October. Yes, I am late, but this these messages still going to be great. We're going to get this thing on up in here, okay? I got Gemini in my chart, too. Shit's been popping, right? So let's get it. Your intuitive messages for the uh, middle of October. We're going to say the end of October, now to the 31st. You guys got evil eye, door of happiness, fear of loss, blind faith, Childhood trauma, loan approve, triggers, mental space, mending family, guilt over conversations, compromise, therapy, karma, spiritual law, destiny, co-create, walking away, spiritual teacher, procrastination, Oh, procrastination, out of fear, blessings, financial blessings, I'm sorry, y'all, provoked, temper, family cycles, okay? You guys, Gemini got some shit popping out. They should have said popping, 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 bitch, it's popping, okay? <laughs> All right, overall energy around the reading, you guys got the eight of diamonds. He and Gemini in their damn head, okay? For some of you all, there could be uh, conflicts or some of you all could also be going through some type of, this could be inner conflict regarding having a conversation, especially if there uh, is some type of commitment involved, marriages or um, just long-term commitments or someone that you have children with, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with child support. I also heard um, for some of y'all, this has to do with some, something about unemployment. Things are going to be rectified. Whoever was trying to assassinate your character or assassinate your name in a work situation, I definitely feel that somebody set up a demise for you, Gemini, and they feel right to the damn same pits of hell that they thought that they was going to put you in, okay? What's going to be going down for Gemini? It's mid-month. Y'all is listen, okay? The angel message you guys got is Divine Order, Archangel Ragio. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. For some of you all, there will be um, there will there, there will be talks I'm hearing regarding legalities. Okay, I'm also hearing inheritances. For some of you all, this could have to do with you or another person. Someone could have stolen someone's inheritance, and I definitely feel like if this was 
if this is you, some of y'all could be finding out that there's issues around family and money. I just heard what's done in the dark will come to the light. For some of you all, this has to do with karma. Oh, wow. They said, Gemini, it's time to pick which side. Ooh, they feel interesting. Gems, they said, my guide said, it's, it's time to pick which side you lie. Okay. For some of you all, this definitely has to do with the throat chakra. You guys are being divinely guided to make a decision. Some of you all, you are the tower. In a situation like you're praying for change and spirit says you are the change when you choose to evolve and choose self versus the com versus the com the complacency the complacency in self sacrificing. But it's disturbing to the soul at this point, Gemini's. Okay? So let's dig into these cards and see what's going on with you guys, right? Spirit, please have a message for the final seminar for the month of October. What is it that Gemini can expect? <clears throat> some of you all, you could have been going through some type of separation. Somebody, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's like somebody, someone who's like a public figure or someone who has some type of status, okay? This could be some type of like politics. I feel like it's status and authority. So this could have to do with someone who is, um, this could be someone who's like a pastor. This could also be someone who's a politician. This could also be someone who works for the government or works for um, like some type of. Ooh, Gemini. Also, Gemini, watch. Watch your phones during this time. Somebody could be having someone following you or you another person. However, I see that they're not going to find shit. Because whoever this is that's getting followed, they're extremely smart. Very intuitive as well. Either you or another person knows. Somebody's 10 steps ahead I'm hearing, okay? How much just do you have? Someone that would be this. this, cross -off, this cross -off. Gemini spirit. Oh, they just start popping out fast, okay? For some of you all, there could be um, light shed on the situation regarding the soulmate. Somebody could have found out that someone has a whole outside fucking family. This person could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. Strong emphasis on the damn uh, Virgo. Person could also be a water sign as well, okay? Some of you all, there is some type of download that you're going to receive in your dreams when it comes to um, the starfish, okay? For others of you... You could have separated from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is wanting to come back around and express their love. I definitely feel like somebody needed some time or someone was trying to wait out a decision. Because I do see for some of you all, this could involve this could involve you and a person or you could be the person who is already in a relationship. But someone was waiting for someone. I feel like someone's giving somebody an ultimatum as well. Either you're going to choose me or your current relationship. Mm-hmm. Gemini, some of y'all gonna find out that a, uh, that a fucking fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is a fucking cheater. This person could also be going through your phone. I'm also hearing hacking. Some some y'all have a uh, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a fire sign hacking your shit. Change your passwords, baby. Okay. Some of y'all got an Earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, that's sitting up plotting, waiting to stab you later. I feel like for some of you all, you need to watch your money around this person. Some of you all also have people coming back to reconcile with you. This could be old friends, old co-workers, old partners. Be, watch your money around people during this time, Gemini, because some of y'all have someone. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of y'all could also be going through some type of blackmail situation with the, uh, with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is threatening you or trying to threaten you anyway. This yeah, for some of you all, there could be yeah, somebody could be something. Whatever happened when it came to some type of financial situation, Gemini light's gonna be shed on the situation where someone could have stolen money from you. There could have been some type of con like I'm hearing or gem. Okay, gems. They they telling me to call you on your shit. My guy saying some y'all stole some money from somebody. And I feel like there's this sense of rectification. However, uh, it's going to come with a price. And I feel like this is family, okay? 
This could be um, someone who's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or someone who um, is, this could also be a Sagittarius, or someone who is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I do feel that light is going to be shed on a on a particular situation where money was stolen. And I'm hearing someone got a lawyer to a, or a private investigator, someone to investigate something here. For others of you, there is victory when it comes to something, some type of investment. Some of you guys could be entrepreneurs or going into some type of new uh, business endeavor. There's definitely a lot of, you guys, there is a lot of, um, there's a lot of abundance here when it comes to success, but it's going to be after you making a decision, okay? For some of you all, you're indecisive when it comes to a Sagittarius. Some of y'all, you're dealing with a Sagittarius person who cannot let go of another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They also is holding on to a damn uh, earth sign over here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who's also already in a relationship. You could be in an open partnership with somebody, but I'm not seeing this. I feel like one person got in their head that it's open and the other one wants to be committed. But I feel like the one that wants to be committed now could have been the one that was fucking up in the past. And Spirit is saying, are you truly going to keep investing in fuckery, pretty much? Because this is fuckery, all right? Some of y'all, you could, some of y'all could be finding out, ooh, some of y'all dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this person could have left the water sign out in the cold. To work on their foundation. I'm hearing foundation that was already built. You can have children with this earth sign. But this earth sign is in love with a water sign. And they feel stuck to the situation with you. Or you feel stuck with this person. For some of y'all this could also involve a Leo. But somebody. Somebody doesn't want to be cut off. They don't want to be cut off Gemini. They really do love you. However they're going through their own ascension. When it comes to self worth. And for some of y'all, this is you. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are going towards fulfillment mid-month of October, baby. Jim and I just want to be happy, okay? For some of you all, yeah, there could be truth coming out regarding somebody trying to use some type of black magic or evil eye. Trust your dreams, okay, during this time. Your dreams are very... Um, Revealing to you. Some of y'all have the gift of like prophetic dreams as well. You could be seeing either your path or another person's path and somebody's trying to stop it. Okay. I do feel that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, Gemini. Nobody is going to be able. I don't see if anybody's using magic here. I actually see that there's this sense of stagnancy because whoever's, whoever's doing it is from a, is doing it from a space of fear, but it feels like somebody's ancestors. Somebody ancestors is some goons out here. Okay, I think I said that to y'all before. Somebody has a, a grandmother or a mother figure here. And this person. Huh. This new moon in Scorpio is going to be interesting. There's some type of turning of events. But it's in your favor. If things are stagnant for you right now when it comes to finances or maybe you feel as if you're stuck, Spirit is saying this is a karmic decision that you have to make. You're kind of being forced in a corner to let something go or to have to release something, okay? I do feel that there is a situation uh, resurfacing from your past. This could involve a Capricorn towards Virgo. This person could have abandoned you and your children or abandoning you and a child at some period. I do feel that some of y'all this has to do with paternity. Somebody's kind of coming and I heard interruption. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with your boss at work as well. This person could be trying to put you in a situation where they have to like, they try to put you in a situation that is compromising to your family. Somebody is threatening to go tell if you don't give them this new beginning. Or if you don't help them out or do something for them financially for their new beginning. Some of you all could be wanting to move to California. Others of you, it's Florida. Some of you all, it's Colorado. I see Phoenix in the building. For some of you all, I'm also here in um, Arkansas. Some of you all are getting ready to come into some money and just completely fucking dip. You're leaving. You're going to go start a new cycle. One that's fulfilling to you. 
one where, where Gemini ends up on top. You're tired of self-sacrificing for people and having your dreams and aspirations pushed to the side. If you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and some of y'all got to some of y'all get blackmailed by a Libra or an Aquarius. That's a boss. Or someone tied to your job. Somebody's threatening to tell your wife or your husband. It's also coming out here that someone was in some type of long-term committed relationship. And I feel like one of the spouses like the same sex. This could involve a um an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, this could be you in another air sign. Some of y'all are ending cycles, possibly with the Leo, Taurus, um, Aquarius, or a Scorpio that has been toxic if you're already in a, in a relationship. Somebody is like, as soon as you get ready to put your foot out the door because somebody's not compromising, now they want to fix it. Now you have to make a decision on if you're going to keep this. But if you're going to keep this situation going, what are you going to be? What are you going to do different? Again, you are the tower. Okay. I definitely feel like there's uh, there's something. Uh, very important. Some of you guys are going through something legally, and some of you guys could also have an Aries, a Scorpio, or another Gemini. Yeah. Somebody has been trying to do magic to keep somebody stuck. Keep somebody stuck and burdened. And I definitely feel like this is about karma, baby. Somebody has been trying to keep you stuck or keep you stagnant. The spirit is saying you are moving forward and there with this here, there's definitely truth about uh paperwork coming. The scales will be balanced. Come through, Gemini. Hmm. Yeah, clarifying the hermit. You guys, some of y'all are in a situation with a Virgo. I feel like you love this person. For some of y'all, it's a past life soulmate. For some of you all, there was a three-way situation with a damn Sagittarius, a Virgo, or a Sagittarius, and a Capricorn. And yourself or another water sign. And you're choosing to listen, motherfucker. You can't make the decision. Bye. I'm going to make it for you. Seems like when your ass is away from me, my money gets on. My money be where it needs to be anyway. You got to go. You the problem. Jim not telling somebody, you the problem, motherfucker. Why the temperance card here? Some of you all have been patiently waiting for um, someone to make a decision. I feel like for some of you all, you know that there's a decision that needs to be made. This other person does as well. However, both of you choose to try to control. Somebody don't want, some of y'all dealing with Sagittarius that feels as if you've given them hell. So they don't want you to be happy. But some of y'all, this person is a Leo and others of you is a Capricorn, I'm hearing. Spirit, why is the Three of Wands? Let me say Three of Wands. Why the, um, yeah, why is the three of wands here with the six of wands and the five of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Gemini is getting out of this, out of feeling as if they have to give to this situation. You guys are coming out. A lot of you all, there is some type of releasing around something having to do with a childhood trigger or this fear of abandonment or fear of the unknown. A lot of you all are waiting for victory in the situation and you're being able to see during this time that you're just not going to get it. Because fulfillment is over here with the new. For some of y'all, you have to release this situation because you have new coming and you manifested this new. Some of y'all, this has to do with new business, uh, new business investments, um, new relationships. Others of you, this has to do with new moves. Some of y'all, it's completely up and moving when you get some type. I do see some type of windfall coming. Some of y'all could expect a windfall. If you're a Gemini, well... For some of you all, there could be yeah, truth, decept whatever deception there that wasn't that wasn't expressed to somebody regarding some money here. I feel somebody gonna lawyer up, and I feel, I'm hearing no mercy. Someone's gonna have no mercy. Conversations need to be had here, gems. For some of you all, this could involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and a water sign. But I do see this is going to catapult you right into a new beginning. Okay? Jim and I got that new, new coming. You are another person, but I definitely feel like this is you starting completely over, but things moving completely fast for you as soon as you leave a situation that's not healthy. I feel like there's some type of tower to come assist you with leaving a situation. For some of y'all, you're going to find out your partner got a fucking kid outside of you or somebody's pregnant. 
and they could have been trying to deny it being slick, but it's coming out so that you, this is like the, it's like your get out of jail free card, bitch, run, okay? The world. Yes, yeah, so if you guys were going through any type of financial issues, baby, that is turning around for you. Jim not finna boss the fuck up on a bitch. Why is the Ten of Cups here with the Ace of Wands? For some of you all, somebody who you have a child who wants to come back and they want to start over with you. They want to come out of the cold, gems. Why is the Star card here? The Star card is here because for some of y'all, like I said, some of y'all have an Aquarius person that wants to balance out a situation. For others of you, by, by, bringing, by, uh, by bringing balance into your own world, by releasing the situation, that wasn't moving anywhere. You guys get the star. You get your wish. Wish granted. Be happy, Gemini. Fulfillment. Why the King of Cups here? What the two? Yes, yeah, some of y'all is done with done done with the. I heard Pisces. Some of y'all is done done with the Pisces. You feel as if you have to walk away from this person in order to fully transform because they just won't wake up. Like I gotta walk away. See how the lady got the dinosaur legs that she going into them waters. I'm transforming. There's some for some of y'all. There's some type of massive transformation happening for some of you all by a body, a big body of water. Some of y'all could also be leaving a person behind and moving towards, or moving to to a place that has a big body of water. But some of y'all feel as if you've outgrown a person, you've transformed, and they still sleep. They won't wake up. Stay woke. <laughs> they be creeping. Okay. Why well, is the justice card here? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Libra. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone who is tied up in a marriage or a commitment. Or some y'all, somebody, for some of y'all, I'm hearing somebody's walking away from you, Gemini, because you won't make a decision uh, to completely walk away from a marriage or walk away from a commitment. Yeah. And for some of you all, this justice card is here. Yeah, somebody, didn't I tell y'all, bitch was trying to block y'all in the beginning? What I tell y'all? I tell y'all, a, a, a bitch was trying to block somebody. Forget it. This could have to do with the love relationship. I'm also hearing legalities. This could also have to do with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Libra. Oh, that fell over there. I was going to clarify. It jumped over there. Did y'all see that shit? Okay. And it actually was the Joker. And it jumped out on the Ten of Wands and the Devil. Hmm. Spirit saying... All the cards is in your favor. For some of you all, you're freeing yourself from a situation here. From a situation where you have literally become extremely tired of just dealing. And there's a transformation happening here. Things are turning around for you. Some of y'all could also be using um, spell work during this time. Didn't I tell y'all? Ironically, I said somebody's sign is a starfish. I didn't. I just seen that this lady got a starfish on the side of her head like that. Hmm. I feel like somebody's trying to con try to control the flows of things. You see this these fish over here swimming. Somebody's been trying to try to. Somebody's been trying to control the flows, but spirit said they got out the plan. Somebody shit's ending, and not only is it ending, but somebody's life is about to change here. This could be with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag, with ending a situation, somebody's life change, changes here. Gems. Gems, what will you do? Y'all let me know. I will see you guys here for November. I love you all. Love and light. Namaste, babies.